bunch of candy, offering a bunch of candy to the children. We're going to offer real food. You know, you know what I mean? That it's so hard, you know, to, to get real food these days. So Maria has been doing a great job uh, with that too. Also, it's going to bring something very important, that is understanding. The understanding of what life is, it's going to be a lot easier if we understand what dying is. And our ancestors, they figure out that it's just a transformation. That is really just the end of a cycle and the beginning of another one. They believe that, that we were like caterpillars. And then we, once we go through that transformation, we will turn into a light. You know, so it was a beautiful concept of uh, honoring life because we know that there's something beautiful after that transformation. So a better understanding of uh, dying will provide a better quality of life for everybody. And then another benefit I'd like to point out is this is going to unite because this is not a Mexican celebration. As Maria mentioned, this celebration with different names is celebrated many places in the world. You know, and uh, there's a lot of similarities. And we always like to argue and fight and point, point out our differences but never our similarities. So it's time for us to change that, you know. So everybody, it doesn't matter if you're purple, green, or red, everybody can celebrate the Day of the Dead. You know, everybody can honor their ancestors. So it's, this is going to offer a better opportunity for understanding that. And then uh, it's going to unite us. So this, hopefully this starts right here in the city of Portland, but hopefully this spreads all over. Uh, thank you so much as, uh, as an artist, as a performer, as a musician. I'm just going to say that we will do our best to offer all these things that I just pointed out to our communities and to deliver this message of union. We need to unite so we can all move ahead together and uh, this beautiful celebration of the Day of the Dead. It's going to be something beautiful that uh, you don't want to miss. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, Commissioner Day. Um, I have a question. First of all, thank you for the invitation. I love this time of year. <coughs> All, the, all of the traditions surrounding it, and I particularly love Day of the Dead. But as someone who doesn't share your culture, her, cultural heritage, I'm wondering if you can tell me how I can respectfully honor and participate uh, without culturally appropriating or, or without offending people who don't know. And I really appreciate for your question because that's a question that I have encountered in several uh, places. And I'm deeply grateful for the community to be respectful to our language and our celebration. And I believe the first step is to participate, come to our events, ask. Um, it is fine. We want people to ask us what we are doing, why we are doing it. That's why I'm organizing these um, events because they're not just fiestas. I'm putting a, a cultural program together so our own community members, our new generation um, of Mexicans, non-Mexicans, Spanish speakers can understand our origins. So that's why Eduardo says it's for everybody. So come please to our celebration so you can understand and then talk about it. That's a great way to start to talk about community. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was uh, Maria Garcia, Marta Beatriz, Sonara <coughs> Parada, and Eduardo Cruz. And our next three speakers are Christian Barrios, artist, and Eduardo Miranda, who is their favorite substitute. So, that's what we will introduce ourselves. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Christian Barrios. I'm an artist. Here. Thank you, guys. Uh, the importance of the day of the dead is not only the 3,000 years before the conquest, the mix of the two cultures, two different worlds. It is so many things as a cultural respect and as an artist, it's really important. Now that we have something for the humanity, as a couple years, like as a few years ago, it was patrimony of the humanity, not only for the Mexicans, but for Colombia 
Nicaragua, Salvador, for so many other countries they've been celebrating that for thousands of years. It's the respect of the living, but also the respect of the dead and of our ancestors. We celebrate that to bring all of the memories, and not only for us, but you know, for everyone. As we've been seeing um, last year for the museum, hundreds of people getting in and out to celebrate, to learn, and to know, not only of the face of the Katrina painting as Posada, dead ones, and Diego Rivera put it on the mural and immortalizing the new era, and the new, and the new way to see the dead. But also to have something we can share to the world and have a communion and have something that we can do together. And I'm really happy to be here and to see the Day of the Dead is my favorite holiday also. I love it, I love the food, I love all of the symbolic things that we have on the friend, right? the flowers, the food, everything else, but the community getting together in a good way. Thank you. Hi. My name is Eduardo Miranda. Um, I am from Mexico. I'm born in a small village called San Martín Duraznos, in the Mixteca Baja region of the state of Oaxaca. I am an active uh, Mixteco speaker, which is my native language here in my village. I'm here to share with you a little bit about uh, the day of the dead celebration in my village. The day of the dead is one of the most important festivals for us. We take two days to honor those who have passed away from our families. We dedicate those two days to offer them their favorite food and drinks, to pray for their souls. But also, we dedicate those two days to spend time in family and remember those persons who were special. But most important, we think that we can dedicate those two days to honor those first settlers from our cities, from our towns, the first people who lived there. Because it is important for us to know where are we from in order to know where you're going to. All of us, our kids, our families, we are trying to let them know that we should preserve all the values from our ancestors in order to good, have a good community and live in peace how they lived before. <coughs> so why is it important for us to celebrate it important? Because we believe that no matter where are you living, you have family that is no longer with you, and they are special for you. And that is the most respectful way for us to remember them with our favorite food, with our favorite drinks, but also with the family. And remember that those people that are no longer with you are going to be with you all your life. Thank you. Whereas Day of the Dead is one of the most distinct celebrations in Mexico that has transcended time, Day of the Dead shares the ethnic and cultural plurality of Mexico that has been enriched through centuries with the contributions of more than 60 indigenous groups that have resided across the Mexican nation. After the Spanish conquest, the indigenous communities continue to celebrate through the struggles of colonialization. European culture left a lasting imprint on traditions and beliefs in Mexico, forever establishing Day of Dead as a celebration of life and cultural fusion. And whereas Day of Dead is a celebration of the transition, transitorial return to, to Earth of their loved ones, half friends and family that departed before us, and brings the Mexican and non-Mexican communities to get closer together by celebrating, being, and creating a time to remember ancestors. The festivities begin the first week of October and continue through early November, which coincides with the season of the harvest, 
dedicated to share with ancestors the benefits of first fruits. This celebration is an opportunity to share cultural values in a way that is educational and inclusive. These days are celebrated as a cultural presence across the United States and in Portland, Oregon. And whereas Day of Dead was recognized in 2008 by the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization as a significant cultural expression of the indigenous peoples and as a part of the masterwork of oral and intangible patrimony of humanity, and whereas 2017 data from the Institute of Mexicans Abroad states that the main groups of indigenous communities from Mexico in Oregon are Michoacan, Guanajuato, Oaxaca, Nayarit, Guerrero, and Merida. And whereas the representation concerning the dead have given way to a symbolic and ritual architecture that is expressed in an infinite amount of creative works, handcrafts, and ephemeral artwork, giving the world works of singular value, such as the production of Jose Guadalupe Posada, creator of La Catrina, popularized eventually by Diego Rivera's art. And whereas altars are built for past loved ones by family members and friends. Altars include a picture of the departed one, marigold flowers, also known as senpasuchi, or flower of the dead, representing the fertility of life, and candles of different colors. Yellow, representing the strength of life. Purple, representing the Christian mourning. White, representing the light, innocence, and purity. And black, referring to the pre-Hispanic religion to Tilan, the place of darkness, and miktan, miktan the place of the dead ones. Another important element of the altar is the sweet tradition pastry called pan de muerto, that according to National Institute of Mexican Anthropology and History, this sweet bread has colonial roots inspired in pre-Hispanic rituals. Its round shape representing a skull, the four phalanges are exclusive to human bones and tears of the loved ones still alive. They are positioned as a cross representing the four cardinal points, honoring different gods. Tilalok, Kitu Texpec, and Tezcatlez Puka. The animal's flavor re refers to the memories of the deceased one. This serves as a time for reflection and remembrance. And whereas the Mexican community in Portland is alive and is here celebrating community, the Day of the Dead is understood as a tradition rather than the ending of life. Now, therefore, I, Commissioner Amanda Fritz, on behalf of Ted Wheeler, Mayor of the City of Portland, Oregon, the City of Roses, do hereby do proclaim November 1st and 2nd, 2009, to be Day of Dead in Portland and encourage all residents to observe this day. You guys read this, Yes, thank Great. you. <coughs> and um, before I do that, I just want to invite everybody to come on November 1st from 5 to 9 at PNCA. In November 2nd from 2 to 9 p.m. at Oregon um, Portland, <laughs> Portland Air Museum, I'm sorry. We have a Facebook page called Free Community Celebration Day of Dead and all the details are there. Considera Considerando Día de los Muertos es una de las celebraciones más distintivas en México que ha trascendido el tiempo. Día de Muertos comparte la pluralidad étnica y cultural de México que se ha enriquecido a través de los siglos con las contribuciones de más de 60 grupos indígenas que han habitado a lo largo de México. Después de la conquista española, las comunidades indígenas han continuado la celebración a través de su propia resistencia cultural. La cultura europea ha dejado una huella duradera en las tradiciones y creencias en México estableciendo para siempre el Día de los Muertos como una celebración de vida y fusión cultural y considerando Día de Muertos como la celebración del retorno transitorio a la tierra de los familiares y seres queridos fallecidos. Esta tradición reúne a la comunidad mexicana y no mexicana a celebrar la vida y recordar a los antepasados, Las festividades comienzan la primera semana de octubre y continúan hasta los principios de noviembre, que coincide con la temporada de la cosecha, dedicada a compartir con los antepasados el beneficio de los primeros frutos. 
Esta celebración es una oportunidad para compartir valores culturales de una manera educativa e inclusiva. Estos días enmarcan la fuerte presencia cultural en los Estados Unidos y en Portland, Oregon. Y considerando, Día de Muertos ha sido reconocido por la Organización de las Naciones Unidas para la Educación, la Ciencia y la Cultura, UNESCO, en el año 2008, como una expresión cultural y significativa de los pueblos indígenas y como parte de la obra maestra del patrimonio oral e intangible de la humanidad. Y considerando, en base a datos recaudados por el Instituto de Mexicanos en el Exterior, IME, en el año 2017, los principales grupos étnicos de México que habitan en Oregón provienen en su mayoría de los estados.